Now that you've been introduced to some of the basic functionality of the system, let's look at a specific case study we recently encountered. We had a client that builds hotels and renovates them throughout the southeast U.S. and they were recently dealing with a wood stud structure. In this case with a single wood stud, you're typically seeing STCs in the 33 to 35 range. However, they had a staggered wood stud system. Uh, it was on a 2x6 base plate with 2x4 studs, 3.5 inch batting with 16 inch stud spacing. And with that layout, they were getting an STC right around 50. And actually, the older structure had double drywall along the walls. With this layout, they were hitting an STC of 57. And their corporate standard to maintain the hotel brand was an STC of 55. Um, as a aside, the International Building Code has an STC of 50. And that's required for all apartments and multifamily dwellings. In this case, they wanted to reduce the amount of drywall they needed during the renovation, so they came to us looking for some options. We looked at removing one layer of drywall on each side, and with this configuration they'd be hitting an STC of 50. However, with one additional layer of a soundproofing membrane, they were able to achieve an STC of 55 exactly. And by doing this, they achieved their standard minimum while removing two layers of drywall with one and replacing with one layer of membrane. Uh, the labor is a, is a huge cost savings in that case, as well as materials probably about 20% cheaper. This type of configuration is typically much more effective at soundproofing for two reasons. With drywall, you know you have an issue, excuse me, whenever sound transmits from one layer of drywall directly into another. These are not decoupled and essentially could just be considered one 10 eighths inch thick piece of drywall. When they're not decoupled, the sound actually transmits from the, from the source side into this layer of drywall straight to here and then into the studs and onto the other side. However, by using a layer of mass loaded vinyl or an EVA wall blocker type of product, which both decouples and adds mass, you're much more effective at getting this 5 8 inch drywall off of the wood stud while also adding mass at the same time, effectively killing two birds with one stone. Using a mass load layer often is not effective if there's a standard timber stud, single stud system. In this case, you need some amount of decoupling, whether as a staggered stud with a jump from 35 to 59, or with a double timber stud, jumping all the way to 65, and typically we see this with an 8 inch air gap with an STC up in the mid to high 60s. This is not required in a steel stud system with a 4 inch stud, where you can achieve STCs in the mid 50 range and by jumping the st staggered or double steel studs you only really gain a few points. So decoupling is much more necessary with wood studs due to the stiffness of the stud structure.